Hey everyone, this is Mike from FastGen and today I would like to show you our newly launched user management version 1. We launched a version 2 in a couple of weeks, but I want to show you how powerful version 1 already is and how much faster you can build an app that requires user auth with FastGen. So right here you have a user table. The user table includes all your users and everything that you need to know about them. And there's three ways of adding users to FastGen. Number one is you use the API. Number two is you use the hosted authentication page that I'll show you in a bit. And number three is you can also add them manually through this interface right here, which I'll show you right now. Let's say you have a test user. Um, we just call them test user. We call them test at email.com, at least for the email. We generate a password. You can select the user role. In version one, there's only one type of user role, but in version two, you will have the option to define specific user roles if you want. So let's add them. We see them in the table here right now. And here you can also manage the users if you want to delete them, block them, or update them. You can do all of that in uh, the users tab right here. On top of that, you also have different auth methods. For now, you, you are only able to use password and email. There's nothing to configure here. But as you see, very soon we'll also launch social logins that will be part of version 2, where you can use Google or GitHub, and your end users will then be able to authenticate with those social logins. Then. One very, very time-saving feature that we launched is the hosted authentication pages. So if you want to use the hosted authentication pages for users to sign up, you can do that. You can basically configure them in any way you want. You can change the logo up here by just uploading a different logo. You can change the HTML. So if you, for example, want to change the colors, let's just use our brand colors for the login button. You can do that. And you can configure it in any way you want. And then down here, you have the host authentication pages that you can just forward to in your login process, or you can use a custom domain if you prefer as well. And again, you don't have to use the host authentication pages. You can just use the API. You can also disable this right here. And lastly, we have the settings. In the settings, you can say whether signup is allowed or not allowed. This is mostly a security feature. And then you can also say whether you want to require first name and last name in the data set, or whether it's fine to just have the email. And um, for now, like I didn't really use or need the first name and last name, so I deactivated it. One of my other favorites is the workflow triggers. In the workflow triggers, you can define specific events in FastGen that run every single time a specific event in the authentication process happens. So for example, after someone has logged in, you can always send out a specific message to your Slack channel saying, hey, someone just logged in in case you want to monitor user activity. Or after someone signs up, you want to send out a welcome email and also want to notify your Slack space, your team that someone has just signed up. And then um, how that works is you just click on one of those events right here. You can click post sign up. This would trigger every time someone signs up. I haven't fully configured it, but you get the gist. You can send out a Slack message every time someone signs up, and then you can also send a welcome email. You just need to deploy it, and it's running. Nothing else to do. But yeah, that's how user management works in FastGen. It will enable you to build MVPs and other apps much faster because user auth will not take a lot of time, and you can add it on top of any app that you're building very quickly. Let us know if you have any questions. Say hi in the community Slack. And as always, happy building.